Hey, howdy guys, Connor McCaskill here, and today joining me is Armando Ferreira. Armando, thank you so much for being willing to talk to me about the EOS R. It's one of my favorite cameras. And thanks for having me. Yeah, that. man. <laughs> We're just kind of winging this. I just got this camera from B&H literally a couple days ago now. Yeah, you went all out. <laughs> I did. I went all out. I got the battery grip. I got a uh, 24 to 70 with IS. Uh, I really did go all out. And I don't know. This camera, I, did, I had no plans on buying it. No. And then suddenly I own it. So before I kind of go into why I bought this thing and, and all that good stuff, why don't you go ahead and tell me why you particularly like the EOS R, because I do know that this camera has a bit of controversy around it. It's always had controversy around it since it came out. And I'm curious, you have kind of you were an early adopter. You did not care about what other people said. And I kind of want to know what your thought process was behind that. Um, the main reason why I decided to go with the EOS R is because it matches really well with the C200. Right. This uses Canon Log, which other cameras like the 1DX Mark II did not have Canon Log. Mm -hmm. That alone was worth it. Also, I love the flexibility that this gives you, being able to record a really high bit rate, mm -hmm. not only an 8-bit, but also 10-bit externally. Right. Right. Um, I know there's people that do not like the fact that it crops in. That's not really a big deal for me. Right. Understand that people are still consuming content on a phone. Mm -hmm. So for me, it still works and it's it looks fantastic. Yeah, and, and he's talking about, just in case you don't know, cropping it at 4K. This thing has a 1.8? Yes. Yeah, 1.8X crop when you're shooting in 4K, which is a reason why a lot of people just denounce the camera from the get-go. And honestly, it's the reason I denounce the camera when I first heard about it. On paper, this camera just did not speak to me at all. However, now that I work with you, I've <laughs> learned to kind of love the camera. I've used it from time to time. The one that actually convinced me though to get it was uh, Jake Bernal. Uh, we did a shoot and I don't know, you, you saw it too. Like the colors and everything we were getting out of the EOS R, it just, I don't know, it was speaking to me. It also helps that B&H had this amazing, <laughs> amazing deal. I think the uh, body, what, what was it again? It was $1,300. $1,300 for the body. And there was a bunch of other stuff on sale as well. I ended up getting the battery grip and the lens. I think the lens was a couple hundred dollars off as well. So in the end, I, I just, I couldn't not get it. If that I, makes sense, just because it was so cheap. Such a good deal. Also, the, the, the modularity I feel this camera has that other cameras do not, like for example, the ND adapter, the ND yeah. filter adapter. Mm -hmm. um, coming from a C200, right. being able to have built-in ND filters. Right. I've always called this like the baby C200, <laughs> which yeah. I really feel it is because you can get really good colors out of it and you're right. not spending $7,000, which funny enough, we are right. filming with the C200 Currently, right now. Yeah, this is the best my content's ever going to look. I asked <laughs> Armando, I was like, hey, can we just talk about the EOS R for, I don't know, a couple minutes? He's like, yeah, sure. And he's just built this entire contraption <laughs> and set. This is probably gonna be like 200 gigs for me to go through. I'm gonna edit this tonight. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I've really enjoyed, cause I have, uh, I still have my Fujifilm X-T3. I'm not selling my Fujifilm X-T3. They do very different things. The EOS R and the Fujifilm are completely different things. My Fujifilm is really good for photography. I love it for photography and also 120 frames a second. The colors are beautiful too. And the colors are amazing. The film simulations, although Canon colors are also good. This is filling a different void. It's providing me with my first full frame camera. Mm -hmm. And that has been kind of a, a look that I have yet to attain and now I can. And I, I think I think I really like it. Well, another thing that's awesome is, you know, you're really kickstarting your YouTube channel. Yeah. And I know this is important. Yeah, oh gosh. This is really important. Actually, let me take it back. <laughs> this is the reason I bought this camera. I don't know if you saw my last video. No one saw my last video. Go watch my last video, please. <laughs> no one saw my last video. I was shooting in Big Bear with my Fuji film. And it was snowing and I, I was trying to, well, I didn't have this, so it's more like this. I was trying to position it and I, I ended up like cutting off the top of my head for a lot of shots and yeah, this is this is gonna be big and crucial for me as kind of shooting my own content on my uh, by myself. So yeah, I don't know, as a whole package, this thing's just kind of a really good workhorse. It is, it is. And I'm, I'm really banking on the new RF mount too. Yeah. The RF mount, for example, this is the 15 to 35 F2.8, F2.8 with IS. Right. Which is something you, don't really see on other camera manufacturers. Like right. Sony doesn't have something equivalent to this. No. Um, I really feel these lenses, if you guys have seen the 
tw the 70 to 200. It's a baby yeah. lens it's compared tiny. to the original one. Right. Yeah, so. I think it's just because of the massive mounts. Yeah, I really, really think is. like the future is going to be in some of these mounts. So. Yeah, I mean, we're moving away from the EF into the RF, RF mount for mm -hmm. sure, but EF is still around and that's why I was able to get the 24 to 70 and feel comfortable mm -hmm. that it's not going anywhere because we can always adapt to it. So this is just kind of a quick update video that I got the EOS R. I will be doing a full review of the camera in due time. I'm gonna be going to Nashville for the holidays and I'll kind of play around with it and hopefully get a cool video for you guys there. Anything else you wanna just quickly say about the EOS R? Any like last little things about it that just kind of make you go, yeah, that's the reason I have it. I mean, for the price point, I really think it's a great camera, full frame, mm -hmm. again, 10 bit. Right. Yes, it's not perfect, but what camera really is? No camera's perfect and this one, it just kind of fills in a lot of the gaps that, for instance, Sony or Nikon, they have their, their quirks, their issues, and the quirks with this one just aren't as Bad. No, I'm willing to live with the quirks with this one because I yeah. feel out of all of them, it checks most of the marks. Yeah, so let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of the EOS R. Do you think I wasted my money? Do you think I bought it too late? I'm curious what you guys have to say. Also, if you haven't heard of Armando, which would just baffle me at this point, be sure to go check out Armando's channel. His content's amazing, I know because I edited it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much Armando yeah, for, for joining me, me and uh, see you guys in the next one.